Gemachte ervaring. Hello, youth group. It's mid April. The birds are singing, the grass is green, and it's 36 degrees. It's freezing out here. But I thought today would be a great day to talk about fire for that reason. You see, the cool thing is about fire is that yeah, it does a lot of things. One, it produces light. It, it gives off this light that is that, that people are attracted to. Two, it's very, very powerful. And three, as long as we are fueling it with something, then it continues to burn. A lot of you know that my uh, favorite passage of scripture comes from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 12 through 24. I love this passage of scripture and I actually go to it a lot because I think it is a great reminder of how we as Christians are supposed to conduct our lives every single day. If you want to know how to live as a Christian, read Thessalonians chapter 5 verses 12 through 24 and I encourage you to do that. Today I want to look at one little segment out of that uh, passage of scripture and that's verse 19. The neat thing about that is the is the way that Paul wrote this. It's to a group of early believers there at the Thessalonica church. And in verse 19, he simply says, do not quench the spirit. And if you were to go back way back in Bible time, you look at how we have translated that word quench, it's actually a very powerful word and it has a whole lot of meaning. And the meaning is basically to do not put out a fire by drowning it with water. So you see, Paul's not saying don't simply kind of sprinkle some water on it or kind of dampen it. He's saying do not drown it with water. And I think that's important because a lot of times the Holy Spirit is symbolized with fire. And again, that's because, like we mentioned, it's powerful, it gives off light, and it continuously burns as long as we are feeding it with some kind of a fuel. I don't think we ever have to worry about or wonder what's going to quench the Spirit's fire because right in the middle of this, this list in 12 through 24 in chapter 5, Paul takes this little exhortation of like, do not quench the spirit. And he sandwiches it right in between all these imperatives to all the believers in the world. So he says all these things that we should be doing as Christians. And right in the middle, he says, do not quench the spirit. You see, as believers, we have a job to do. And that is simply this, to make sure we are always fueling that fire. So that way, when others see us, they can see this bright light shining and it leads them closer to Christ Jesus. So today I guess the question for you guys is this. Are we quenching the Spirit's fire like we're commanded not to do? Or are you fueling that fire? Guys, if you need anything at all, please, please, please don't hesitate to reach out to uh, text me, call me. If your family needs anything, again, let me know. Until then, until next time, peace and love.